Hey everybody, Christian Power here from Artisan Instruments and today we're doing a little tutorial on the Boom Kashaka! Okay guys, first thing we're going to talk about here is the bottom catch. That's the one on the bottom of the hand. The hand is like this, we're putting it out in front of us and we're releasing that bottom ball so it is just a dangling below, just a dangler. And what we want to do is we want to get that bottom ball shaking like a little pendulum, like a so. In order to do that, we need to take our whole body and slightly start to sway our body a little bit to get that momentum going. Okay, it's a whole body movement here, and very, very minute movement in the body. You don't want to be going like this. And this might be difficult at first, but I can assure you, you just keep on trying. You're gonna get it in no time flat. Get that swing at the bottom. Get it swinging so much, it starts to kiss the other kashaka like, oh, hello, nice to see you, oh, you look so nice. And get it clickety-clacking off the other kashaka ball. Once you get it like this, what you want to do is you want to grab that kashaka ball with your pinky finger, and if you can, with your pinky and your ring finger. It looks like this. Swing, catch, swing, catch, swing, catch, swing, catch, swing, catch. Just like it so. Now, really important thing at this point is you want to train both of your hands. Don't leave your left hand out. You'll be so sad. Why don't you train me? So, you got to train your left hand too. So, same thing. We put our hand out. Shock ball there between our peace sign. The other one is dangling below. And we get it going. Now, you're going to find wow, my non dominant hand, which in my case is the lefty. Oh, he's so sad sometimes. He's not that good at all. But with a little bit of training, it'll be just as good as the dominant. So I get that ball swinging, clicking. And I can already feel this is, this is hard. This is tricky for me. Clicking and catch, 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 catch. Let it swing out, catch. And you might notice that you do it a little bit different on the left than you do on the right. That's just natural. All right, you guys, now I'm gonna show you the top catch. That's right, the one that is on the top. Two things we gotta remember with the top catch. One is our thumb is always there, always hanging out, waiting for that rope to pass over top. And two is our index finger does this grab of that ball and catches it kind of between the fatty part here of your palm and thumb and your index finger. So we can go like this, hanging on the bottom and we sling it up over the thumb and grab it with our index finger. Let it hang on the bottom, swing it over, grab it with our index finger. We let the kashaka hang on the bottom, swing it over, grab it with our index finger. On the bottom, swing it over and grab it if you want. You can palm them both, sling that bottom ball over, over the thumb, and grab it with the index finger. Looks like this. Thanks for tuning in today, and if you have any comments or questions, please pop them in the box below. We love to hear from you guys as the community is building and growing day by day. Also, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram, or check out our website at artisaninstruments.ca. Until next time, my friends. Hasta luego. Ciao.